call it loose predator, but uh, it's it's here's here's your dots. And let's talk a little bit about the drill so you guys can let me let me get to the second rep here so you can see the actual where the setup of the drill is. So you can change the angle of this, but essentially uh, here's your here's your uh, here's your kickoff guy. This is your left guard, uh, left center, left guard, left tackle. Anybody that has a single block, and then here's a kickoff guy. Okay, and if you can see here, these dots are on the far hash or right near the far hash. Okay, so I want to give you some perspective to this drill because I want you to walk out of here with some information about the drill. The kickoff guy starts uh, starts on the uh, on the thirty five. The dots are on the thirty, so it's like a five yard angle going this way from the sideline to the far hash. Okay, and then we put the blocker on the numbers. I'm sorry, this is jumping around, guys. Okay. But essentially, you get the feel of it. It's just a one-on-one -on -one block. So you're working kickoff drills here, and you're working kickoff return, okay? Bad hat leverage, okay? And really good by the kickoff guy getting around it. And then we finish on the cone, in between the cones. And basically, it's a competitive drill. So whoever gets inside the cones wins. And you're going to see, you know, guys that are going to be fighting down to the whistle here, hopefully, um, to do this Okay, and the, and the great thing about this drill is you can coach the kickoff guy that this is poor kickoff coverage because he chops his feet here. See the kickoff coverage guy running down the field, and we don't want that. We want to stick and stack, so we want to have him run down, lean one way, stick him, and then get around him and stack him. So not not good on the kickoff side, but now you can see the technique. Okay, so the technique is drop, flip, sink, and punch. So we're going to drop to a spot, and we're giving him the spot here on the hash mark. So drop to the hash mark, square your shoulders, get your chin under his chin, punch, keep your hands inside, and have hat side leverage. So there's your technique on your single blocks, and then you just got to outwork the guy. So this one here is like a with a ball like that's kicked in the middle of the field. You can change your angles up here. I like this positioning right here. This works, guys, so you might want to stay with this. Been doing this for a little while is starting him from the sideline, okay, and then starting this guy from the numbers. But what I do like is I got the dots here right now. Uh, on th this is a five yard like kind of angled cover from the thirty five to the thirty. I, I like it too when you put the dots over here, like from between in between the twenty and the thirty. You understand what I'm saying, guys? It gives this guy more of an angle to run on, and he's got to come a little flatter and, and get the block. So you can change the angle of where you want the guy to cover. But I always, here's my always, guys. I always have a start point and I always have a finish point in the drill, okay? I think that's good coaching just for, you know, for the younger guys that are out there, like, you know, they got to know what, what you want from the drill, okay? And the, the kickoff guy, this was a very simple teaching in terms of what we want from the drill. Kickoff cover guy, beat your guy in, in between those two dots and go win the, go win the rep. You go block the guy and keep him out of those dots. Very simple drill. It starts right here. You're starting on the sideline. You're finishing in between the dots. So then you have this all this space out, you know, out here to, to, that they got to work in. And then you got guys that are, you know, get guys that are coaching it.